Hey guys and welcome back to the Pool of London. Um, now this is the first adventure map that I've worked on in a while uh, with other people. Uh, so yeah, do download it. So what I thought I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys or do an update video of the custom villager trading. Now I made a video ages and ages and ages ago that I showed you how to custom code the villagers trades. Now you'll see Mr. Andre de Rain over here. He has a custom uh, uh, some custom trades over here. So he's asking for something called chrome yellow for a book one. Now, if we go uh, and we look for the pigment yellow, okay, you'll see dand we've got dandelion yellow. So this is not chrome yellow. It's still the same item, but he won't trade it for you. So because of this is 1.8.1, they fixed the thing where you need the same item to trade. You now need the same item and it needs to be named the same. So what I'm going to do, let me just quickly grab um, a actual chrome yellow. Okay, uh, so I now have chrome yellow. So when I now do trade with him, you see chrome yellow, he's going to sell me a custom book. Okay, so, so when I grab the book, oops, you'll see and he's off. So let's just see where he's going to be taking us. Um, okay, cool. So he's kind of off. Now, if I remove options, resource packs, uh, if I remove the resource pack, you will see that he is just a absolute normal villager. Come back, come back. Okay. So you also see suddenly he now cha he now charges me or, or wants to trade me rose matter for book number two. Now this was just an entity data that I d did that I updated his uh, his sales. Okay, so I now just need the rose matter. Now I'm just going to show you how to actually generate him. Now you'll see there's a number of other um, custom trades as well. So over here I've got iron coin for wool. Uh, over here I have uh, wool for marble. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et and then right at the end here, I I have gold for rose matter. Okay, so these are all custom villager trades. Now, yes, uh, I'm going to show you a generator that does this, and I know a lot of people get upset when I use generators. But to be honest, why would I want to battle and face all of the bugs that custom hard coding it uh, does if I already know, already know how to do it, and if I need so many of them? Okay, there's through this whole map there's a whole bunch of these okay so as always we are going to go to my favorite favorite one which is mc stacker so this is uh, mc stacker .com. okay fantastic i do love this particular one all right i know there's many out there but this is my preferred favorite one uh, and it's online which is great i love online stuff i hate having to download little programs to or jar files to run stuff okay so i'm going to summon i'm going to summon a villager Okay, very straightforward. I'm going to make him quiet because, you know, they, they're kind of irritating. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to put his movement speed to 0 0.0001. So he doesn't run off on me while I'm showing you this. Okay, I can give him a custom name. So uh, custom uh, um, custom trade. Okay. Um, I can make him hold stuff, but I'm not going to do that. Um, you'll see you've got breeding options. All of the different things, profession, so you're going to set him to be, let's make him a priest, okay. Career set, so let's just make him a farmer, it doesn't really need to do this. However, what's very, very important is career level. <clears throat> I'm going to set his career level to 1, which means that he will never trade me anything else but the custom trades. If this is set to 0 or left blank, every time I trade with him, he will open up new trades. So that's what happened, a little mistake I made with Mr. Durain, he offers new trades. Okay, uh, so I forgot to set his career level to 1. So we'll set it to to, to 1. Uh, yes, he's willing. Now, I think this is willing to breed. Um, but let's make him willing to trade. Now, the recipes. This is where the stuffs, the magics happen. So if I go to make an offer. Um, first off, you'll see that I've got buy A, buy B. So these are the two things that you can buy. So I'm going to go for, let's go for yellow. Yellow stained glass is good. And let's do red, red, red sand is good. Okay, and he's going to sell me. Now, once again, I can choose anything, any, 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 any item I want, I can choose. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a written, uh, written book. Okay, so I can show you this absolute cool, cool thing over here. The name on the book is just going to be a display name. Yeah, okay, the law is, uh, this is my tutorial book. Okay, so this has just got to do with the physical item itself, not the book itself. Any item you put in there as a cell, 
will have this names. Then we get to the written book itself. Okay, this is my tut book. Okay, tut book, and the author is me, Ragnars. I can then decide whether this is the original book, whether it's been copied from the original, whether it's a copy of a copy, or whether it's tattered. Now, I like the tattered look of it. And it says uh, tattered book. Right, next we get to the pages. So this is one page. I can add a section, all right, as you can see, like that. Uh, but it's still on the same page. Let me just remove these two quickly. So I'm just going to first of all do the title. Well, this is page one. Oopsie, one. Okay, so this is the text. Now the text color, I'm going to make dark blue. I'm going to make it bold. If somebody hovers over the text, I'm going to say uh, this is page one. So just hover over it. Over it. If they click on that word, I'm going to do the say command and say uh, this is page one. Okay. I'm then going to so over the text I want to space so I'm gonna go well forward slash or backslash depending on how you how you see this N that's a space and I'm gonna do two spaces so after the word page one I'm gonna do two spaces and I'm then gonna add a set a, se uh, uh, a section and just go blah uh, blah 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 I'm going to add two spaces okay line break sorry that's a line break and I'm gonna make this italic and I'm going to add a section and just go blah, 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 again. Okay, so that is page one. Then I'm going to add another page. Okay, so now I start with page two. Okay, so this time it's page two. Um, and we're going to say this is uh, time. So I'm just going to do a very, very basic command, just so you can see. So we're going to make this dark green, bold. Um, this is page two. Uh, and just just gonna say do a say command again this is page two okay I'm going to first of all remember I'm gonna put in a line break and another line break and I'm going to add another section and now I'm just going to say set time day okay remember my line breaks and n uh, I'm going to make, to make it bold I'm going to make this yellow is there a yellow is there yellow yep uh, and if you hover over it, it's going to say set time today. And then if you click on it, I'm going to go, I'm going to go set uh, time set. Uh, let's just make it day. Okay. Um, then I'm going to add another section and I'm going to set uh, set time. Oopsie, just to make this proper set time night. Give it another two line breaks. Uh, oh, 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 give it another some line, another line breaks. N, and we go bold. Okay, if they hover over it, it's let's make this dark blue, and we're gonna go set time to night. Okay, and then we're gonna run the command time uh, set time uh, time set twenty two one two three. Okay. And that's it. So I'm just going to make do that. So I'm going to copy all of that. Okay. And I'm going to go into my game. Uh, let me just see. Let me just quickly give myself a command block. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go into the game. I'm going to pop it in here. Okay. And let me grab a redstone block. And I'm going to summon my little villager. Okay. Uh -huh. So if I now click on him, you'll see that I have a display name uh, by Dragnos. It's tattered. This is my tutorial, his tutorial book. He wants yellow stained glass and he wants red stained glass. So what I'm going to do is let me just quickly grab some. Um, so we've got red sand over there and we've got yellow glass over here. OK, so I'm going to pop that in there, pop that in there. And I have. Oh, shush. Why are you making a noise? Okay. Um, and if I open the book, you'll see page one. If I hover over it, this is page one. If I click on it, you'll see it says this is page one. If I go to page two, it says this is page two. Set time today, which it is day. And then the next one is set time tonight, which now it's night. Set time today. 
Okay, so this is the custom village trade. Now, if you're wanting to change the name of the, some of these things, okay, you're going to need to go into a, a code editor. Like, for example, I always use pastepin. And I mean, yes, if you go to pastepin forward slash dragnos.com, I think, there we go, you you dragnos <laughs> you forward slash dragnos you'll find all of my pastes and you'll even find the pool of london paste on here okay so you'll need to go into your code editor and then this is where it becomes useful to know where the code uh what the code is and how to manipulate the code because what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this id for stained glass and i'm actually going to add a name okay so i'm going to go add a tag oopsie add uh okay let's count one i'm going to add a tag colon I'm going to open and close my brackets straight away I'm going to go uh, display oh wow man that's because I'll try and t touch type display colon open and close straight away uh, is this name uppercase or I can't remember this name's uppercase okay so it's an uppercase name colon uh, gold why gold glass okay so you'll see I've now added uh, a tag display name gold glass to the buy uh, the buy a or the first buy of it if i wanted to change the sand um, i'm going to do exactly the same colon um tag colon uh, open and close the brackets uh that was a comma before sorry uh display i wonder if this displays it uppercase or lowercase uh it's lowercase display colon open and close uppercase name and colon and we're going to call this um burning sand burning sand just call this burning sand okay i'm gonna copy all of that copy and i'm gonna go back into my minecraft um let me just add another villager here control v and i'm going to do him and if i tick on him you'll see it says now gold glass and it says burning sand so i'll now need those items to get this book okay so yeah this is it i mean if you wanted to create any other trade it doesn't have to be a book i mean you can sell those things and you can solve solve a gold golden uh golden is it, is it gold block it's just gold gold it's just got gold sword you can sell a gold sword you can do sharpness you can smite you can add all kinds of things you can even add attribute modifiers so go and have a look at this this is fantastic okay you can absolutely manipulate anything without having to headache of doing all of the coding yourself i mean coding yourself is good i'm going to repeat this again coding yourself is good if you want to learn how to do this but once you've learned it just use a generator it's quicker it's easy and it's wonderful um yeah cool guys um that is really all i want to show you with custom villager trades so go away go make some interesting trades and yeah show me show me show me below show me in the comments what you have created send me the code send me your paste bin links and yeah let me know cool guys thank you very very much for watching and as always i will check you all later